Okay, hello. In the last tutorial, I taught you how to create your first Hello World program, which is important in any language. It showed us how to press a button, which initiated an event, which caused the text to appear in a text box. Um, what we're going to do in this one is slightly different. We're going to use something called a variable. Um, if you're, if you know programming, you know what a variable is. If you know GCSE maths, you know what a variable is, or you might not know in this context. So um, let's go ahead, let's uh, open up a new project. So we click on that button there, or File, New Project, like that. Uh, we want a Windows Form application. Um, at the moment you don't need to worry about these ones here, just Windows Form application. And we're going to call it uh, Test 1.2. Okay. So while we're waiting for that to load up, um, I'm going to talk to you about variables. You've probably used variables before, like I said in maths, um, let's go straight ahead and just get a button up like that. Double click on the button. Right, so here's the, uh, the, the code menu. Um, a variable works a little bit like this. Um, let's say a button. Okay, let's do it in word. A plus 12 equals x. Now a and x are both variables, they depend upon something. So if in our program we say that a is equal to 12, we know that 12 plus 12 equals 24, so x will equal 24. Do you see, do you, do you see this? It's quite simple, that's quite a nice simple one. In a VB program, um, a could be inputted through a text box, and x could be executed in a message box, for example. So if we use this as our premise for our next one, we want to add 12 onto a number, um, we will create a program that will pop x up in a um, text box. So what we're going to need first is a button, which we have. So back to this one. Um, we can get rid of this, delete that. Um, go to the form design. We're going to need a button. And we're going to need one text box there, and another text box there. I'm going to introduce you to the label here as well which is just some text, back to the properties and change the name, the text of the label to uh, input. Okay, And then if we put another label here, change that one to output. I think something that confuses people quite early on is in between the name of a uh, object on the form and the text. The, the text um, is what appears visually, the name is what the program will recognize it as. So, for example here, the text on this label is output, but it's known as by the program as label 2. So, just so we don't get that out of the way, and we're going to change the text on the button to... Oh, okay. Uh, just line those up there. I'm going to go through designing and program etiquette when it comes to designing a bit later. So. Um, the first text box here is known as text box 1. The output text box is known as output 2. Okay, so we're all ready. We need to double click on OK. Remember that the event when double clicking here is click. Um, you can change them here. So all sorts, all sorts, all sorts, all sorts. But we're going to keep it as click at the moment. Okay? Now we are uh, going back to here. A plus 12 equals X. Now A is going to be our input. So we need to do something called declaring the variable. So we're going to go dim a as double. All that's doing is saying that there's going to be something in our program that we're going to use the variable name a as, and it's going to be a double, which is a long number. Um, there's also strings, which is text. So we're going to use double at the moment, and we're going to need to double at, sorry dim x as double as well. Um, now we said that the input we're going to put in is going to be called a. So we need a to equal text box one dot text, and I press caps box. Um, VB Express Edition has something really nice, which is this uh, kind of I like to call it guessing what you're going to write. Um, it's very useful. I use it a lot. It cuts down typing time hugely. So uh, just use it where needs be. So for the next one example, x. See the variables already up here. Um, so x is going to equal. Now, as we've already declared a as the text in text box one, 
um, x is going to equal a plus 12 and then we're going to put those in brackets okay so now what we've done is as you see a is going to be what is in text box 1 the text in text box 1 is going to equal a and x is going to be if we go back to here x equals 12 plus a so 12 plus a equals x and then we're going to need to output x so te uh, text box 2 dot text is going to equal x so uh, hopefully you can follow that what we've done at the top we've declared variables a and x we've imported a into our program through the text function we've uh, done a little function to it here and um, we've we, we've outputted it into a text box. So let's see if this thing works. Go straight ahead and click the debugging. Wait for the thing to pop up. Here we go. Now, if we input 12, for example, now we know what 12 plus 12 is. Output should, if this all works, equal 24. There we go. Um, add 13. There you go. So can you see how um, declaring variables creates a much more useful program than just clicking a button and saying hello world? It means that this program now type in anything in here, we'll just add 12 to it, which is exceptionally useful. Um, variables are a key fundamental in almost all programming, and um, you're going to need to get to grips with them. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to create something uh, slightly more complicated with variables, um, which hopefully you'll enjoy. But this is one step up from the last program, and if you've got any questions, please do let me know. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I get back to you. Okay, that was Tim Johnson, and I shall see you some other time.